Hello there, only one Kenobi here, only one. It's a bit of a mix of... <laughs> this is a bit of a mix of things, this video. It's going to be a Tungori time, kind of. It's going to be sort of a figure hack. And it's going to be a little bit of a future plan update, if you want to call it that, for the channel. So, the question is, as I'm going to put in the, the video title and the thumbnail, why did I buy this from Tungori? It's actually something I already own as a loose figure, but it's just oh, part of a master plan of mine. I want to do this because I think it's the most important custom Star Wars vintage collection figure you could make. Because they, they will never do it. Oh, it's all to do with the expanded universe. In here, I'll show you what I got from Tungori. Just one figure. Dum -dum -dum -dum. As I say, I already have him. He's right behind me on my uh, Sith shelf. You want to see my wall of the Sith if I go back here? Can you see all those guys in black there? Right down there, they're all ancient lords of the Sith right up to the days of the Sidious uh, <laughs> administration. But um, I thought I'd get myself another Darth Malgus. Let's see how this one is. Did I say Darth Malgus? I mean Darth Plagueis. Darth Plagueis and the wise. And I've never seen him like that before because I think when I got my other figure, I got him... Um, opened him off a Black Series car back. I've never seen him, amazingly, never taken his robe off, so I've never seen him without the robe. He looks quite interesting like that. Do you know what? I wish I'd got another one. I could have had him on my Attack of the Clones shelf. The banking clan will sign your treaty. <laughs> Those snivelling weasels of the banking clan. Um, I'm sure, I dare say, there'll be a lot of people out there who've already done that custom. But that's not why I've bought him, not to do that. I've bought him because I want a good friend of the channel. He has been a little bit quiet for the last few years. I think he he did a lot of work for the community, you could say, and for collectors on the best. I still think they are the best customs I've ever seen done for TVC. And that man is Lee from Tatooine Customs. I'm going to go and get an example of one of his pieces that I still have which I'm actually going to give away when I get to 10,000 subscribers. But the thing about Lee is when he does custom carded figures, he not only does a very nice card back, he does a good image. He also, the in the inserted tray, the in tray, whatever you want to call it, because these figures are not rattling around in there. They have an outs, an exterior box, whatever you call it, and then an interior tray that the figure sits in snug. And also sockets and compartments and things. The um, lightsabers go through little holes. He does all of that and he's done it really well. And here we are now. This is one of his customs and it's brilliant. It's uh, for Wedge Antilles. He basically recarded a Black Series Wedge, a figure that arguably should have been done in TVC anyway. In fact, any figure that was in the orange card and the blue TIE Fighter carded Black Series, in my opinion, and I've said it time and time again, they should all have been vintage collection and what a missed opportunity that was for us to get some beautiful not only good figures because it is a good figure but beautiful car backs as well they denied us that and i'll never forgive hasbro for that if you're watching i'll never forgive you so the ultimate custom in my opinion is figures that they will never ever 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 do again and that's stuff in the expanded universe now here's the irony right they have been reissuing stuff in the expanded universe they that's why I've got her out. They've reissued her. They've reissued Starkiller. I never thought they'd do it. I thought legally they couldn't because the expanded universe is now defunct, that it wouldn't happen, but they have done. But here's what I think they will never do. They will never ever bring out, if they were to even want to bring out, Plagueis and Mara Jade. Two figures again that were in the orange card line. The, well, the Black Series three and three quarter inch. They would never ever put them on an expanded universe, but I tell you what, 100% that is where they would have been going. And it's sad, isn't it? They never got onto that card back. Only seven cards were made in total for the expanded universe. And those characters were the Art Trooper Commander, Bastila Shan, Shea Vizsla, Starkiller, the Old Republic Trooper, Malgus, as you see here. And finally, Nomanor. Maybe a seven. Um, so that's a, a, a travesty. These customs, especially Lee's customs from Tatooine Customs, are phenomenal. They really do look like they've been produced by Hasbro. But um, there's one exception, though, for myself. Um, 
there's two figures that I want to commission Lee to make and I hope you're watching Lee he's a busy man nowadays he kind of stepped away I think from making customs and stuff it's a lot of hard work man I'd love Lee for you to do one last roll of the dice so one last hurrah for the only one Kenobi channel to make a car back for Plagueis and one for this Mara Jade I have here I only have one of Mara Jade but because I'm a little bit funny about where I put my expanded universe characters I don't really have a shelf for them I like to have shelves for movies so I know exactly where I'm placing people and in dioramas and stuff that match specific scenes and things with Mara Jade I know very little about the character anyway and my so-called expanded universe shelf is very miscellaneous anyway you know on one side of the shelf you've got Starkiller stood next to Dash Rendar then you've got people from 2000 years before their, their lifespans so I would not mind Sacrifice and having her loose to having her on a car back um, The car back that should have been and having that next to all my other expanded universe cards Because I can guarantee it 100% and I'll eat my hat if I'm wrong, but they will never ever ever Bring her out on an expanded universe card back uh, He might even get onto a I'm sure has he been in battlefront him? I'm sure I've seen him on a menu of some sort on a recent video game or they might even put them in Galaxy of Heroes, that kind of thing. They've got that ability now to diversify, but... There is also another thing I was going to say. Some people were saying about I was going to do a figure hack on this, but I don't really want to. There was talk about people redoing Mara Jade and doing a better head. That That is undeniable. There's something I quite like about her, though. She has that ret... She looks like so 80s, that, in it? I love that look of her. I was quite a young boy in the 80s, but still I know that I was a part of that decade. And she has that, just she has that 80s look, which I can relate to it, but I have tried swapping that head and putting that on the Mara Jade, because she's a good looking girl. I'm not saying the hair's just a bit outrageous, isn't it, on that one? And uh, but it's it's rubbish. I didn't like it. I did the head swap. I'll do it now for you. <sighs> and there it is. But the, the my biggest issue is that I know that's not lot that's not Mara Jade anymore. If anything, it looks like Bo Katan training. You know what I mean? Bo-Katan out of her armour. Or it's Shea Vizsla not wearing her armour. You know what I mean? That is not Mara Jade. It's got a different head on it. But I think the point people were trying to make was Hasbro could and should maybe update that. Bring her out, Mara Jade. But uh, I'd love to be wrong about this. They'll never do it on that card back. That, that chance is gone. And on that note, before I repeat myself again, I'll leave it there because I'm waffling now. But I hope... I've made my point clear, and Lee, if you are watching, please, you have been with my channel since the very beginning, since after I had 100 subscribers. And you reached out to me back then, Lee, and you said, can I send you some customs for you to video? And I was overjoyed, because I was a much smaller channel than I am now. And it was a pleasure then. I think you got a lot of interest from the people who followed my channel, and your stuff is just unbelievably good. The best customizer I've ever known that's an example of your quality work there. So please, man, let's make this happen. Let's do a card for Plagueis and Mara Jade. And I'll be a very happy man. Plus, it'll make a cool video of that journey. <laughs> All right, man. Thank you for watching this video, everybody who has watched. Do hit the like button on the way out. Thank you for staying this long. This has been Only One Kenobi, Only One. Out. <laughs>